serious to doubt. That flood story happened. They proven it was a myth, a legend. I'm not totally ready to discount the Bible as the Word of God. Especially when I get some lame ass arguments against the flood by lame ass, dumb ass, gay ass laymen who are not professionals. Even the professionals, they get little nuanced facts wrong. So, how the hell do I know that I'm not getting the whole enchilada wrong? Not curse the Holy Ghost if I look good. If I look good, like this big, if I look big and bogus and like a man, I curse the Holy Ghost. I curse him. If I don't look like a boy but a man, I curse him. Here's some lame ass excuse. Here's the, some lame ass arguments by people claiming to know when they don't fucking know, professing themselves to be wise but they came, but they became fools. Our God, he's supposed to be a uh, professional. Yeah, you, you, you strong for a girl? Hey, I'm not strong. Are you getting arm sing? We talk about time. Anyways, this our God said rainbows not until after the flood. Listen up, dumbass. If you read the Bible, like you claim no Aaron Rock, Aaron Rock, you'll find out that it, it there could have been no rainbows because there was no rain. It never rains until the flood. Before that day, the way the earth was watered was a mist came up and watered the ground. Now whether that was geysers or mist. And the reason people lived hundreds of years, and probably the reason they had such big dinosaurs, because the air pressure was higher, because the earth was surrounded by a layer of water vapor. And this is why the earth the atmosphere was radically different before the flood. I'm not saying it happened, but the, I'm just offering arguments for why I'm not ready to discount the flood, or at least the Bible, as being the Word of God. What, what are some other things? Dad, I wonder who that fucking, that fucking monkey was who told me who I I I say that call him fucking give him cancer and uh, use the energy. Take from him to make me look at my plate and make me sexy things. Yeah. yeah, lame ass arguments. Even by the fact, there's this one jackass who's so smart, he's a major fact wrong in the Bible. It's one one of our videos. Yeah, I'm not, especially when I see, like, Matt Diddle Honey, he fucks up. It's, uh, it says in a video, quote, humans are monkeys, we came from monkeys. But they get little shit like this wrong. How the fuck do I know they're not wrong about the whole enchilada? I expect the truth only. If you, are, if you get, oh, don't worry, the Christians are guilty of the same shit. They get stuff wrong. That's why I'm doubting. That's why I'm fighting down for the guns. But what a, I'm trying to remember other shit they got wrong. That's the biggest point. That's what I the most remember. Aaron Ross says the flood could not have happened. What are the, is he he's saying the Bible is bullshit because there were not rainbows until Noah's flood. Aaron Rod, don't you realize it didn't fucking rain before the flood? Read the fucking Bible for yourself, you fucking jackass. You're dumb. You're as dumb as a layman. Maybe dumber. 
But that's why everybody calls you Ron Raw, the talking YouTube talking jackass. You suck my dick. And I curse the Holy Ghost if I look like this. Pudgy. My thin hair, not good looking. I curse the Holy Ghost. I curse you, Holy Ghost, if I'm not good looking. 